Welcome back, beer tours. This is Ryan here with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Today I'm going to look at a beer from Samuel Adams Brewery, aka Boston Beer Company. And this is part of a new series they just released. It's their small batch series. This one's called Griffin's Bow and is a blonde barley wine. On the label, they kind of mention what's brewed with it. This is 11.5% big beer. Uh, a lot of like two row pale malts, um, some crystal or caramel in there, crystal kind of malt. Uh, they aged it on toasted oak and they use Nelson Sauvignon hops and Zeus hops, which are also known as Columbus or Tomahawk. So um, I was talking with Chris about this one and he mentioned that he had just tried it. So I, he told me, you know, you should pick it up, try it out for myself. So. Take a look at this. Um, it's interesting that they're using New Zealand hops. They claim to be small batch. I, I never plan on doing very many Sam Adams review, beer reviews. So, uh, but this one, I'm going to take a chance with this one. It's a very clear, uh, kind of darker golden color. Got about a finger of off-white head on there. You know, touch a yellow tinge to it. Let's get the aroma on it. Yeah, I mean, you're definitely getting some hops on there. It's not like huge hop character, but uh, definitely a blend of, of, of malt and hops. But yeah, you do get that Nelson Sauvignon. A lot of white wine character coming off that, that white grape note. You know, little, little touches to that more tropical fruit kind of note, that sort of mango-y, almost like peach character. Below that, you do get like just a just a touch of alcohol, followed with some nice caramel malt notes, uh, leaving some legs on the side of the glass. I mean, this is a big beer, eleven and a half percent. So uh, let's give this a try. Cheers. Definitely has some you know some hops up front, some bitterness, and then it has a big uh, malty backbone to it. Little touch of a lingering uh, alcohol note as it goes down, but at, masks fairly well. After taste of getting like some sweeter notes, touch that oak coming through. Uh, that head's fading away due to that alcohol, that's for sure. The thing about Nelson hops is they tend to be a more rounded, sweeter hop than a lot of the bolder American hops. So you get a lot of like sweet hop notes up front, that sweet uh, white grape, you know, tropical fruit notes that you got on the nose, with that sort of mango character, that slight like citrusy note as well and so that's up front it does supply some bitterness but then it immediately transitions into a really nice uh, lighter kind of caramel backbone nice breadiness kind of underneath that caramel but sweet caramel notes kind of to finish and the oak is not terribly noticed until the end and you get a little uh, vanilla coming in that works really well with that caramel note just coming with the vanilla Slight bit of like a, an oak tannin, but you can tell it's uh, a toasted oak kind of character compared to like a, uh, a medium uh, char. It's interesting because you look at the beer and it sort of looks like an IPA, but it drinks, it does drink like a, a, a barley wine. Um, it's not as hot forward as say like a Bigfoot or some of the uh, San Diego barley wines like from Stone or, or Ale Smith or you know those type of breweries locally. Um, but it, it, and it drinks more of a like a, a fall sort of winter beer, even though it doesn't quite look like one. Um, alcohol, yeah, it's really well masked. I'm definitely a warming type of beer. Sit by the fire. Um, has that nice fruitiness. Goes really well with the sweeter malts. Not too cloyingly sweet as well. I mean, it's just a nice medium mouthfeel. Really just easy drinking beer for 11.5%. Uh, really well done by... Uh, Samuel Adams, Boston Beer Company. I do like the bottle they're putting these in. This is a uh, one pint, six fluid ounce bottle, and uh, they're priced pretty well. So check it out. I'm gonna give this one a B plus. Uh, nice, surprising beer. Don't know if I'm gonna review the rest of the uh, the four that they released, but I have at least one more I've already bought. Maybe I'll grab the other two eventually. But uh, recommend checking this one out. So until next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.